Alrighty. Doing a quick walk out the garden. I'm gonna do a little more watering. I can see my squash plant is in need of a drink. You can kind of see the leaves start to droop a little bit. Going more all over here. But I did do a mass watering on the cucumber the other day, so I know it's good. So what I'll do is I'll... There's where it's at. I'll let that run for a few minutes while I walk around and check the garden. So I hit it with the weed whip to kind of clean things around here. Make it a little easier to, to see things. And every now and then I gotta ink some of these weeds out. I don't mind having some of them in there. You don't have to have it weed free. But every now and then they start to get a little aggressive. Then I gotta pull them out. Huh. Look at that. A little mini plant grown from the roots. Tater's still doing good. This one here, I don't know if it's ever, it's ever going to turn orange. No. Try to shake the dirt back into it. And you just kind of got to come out here. And the nice thing about having grow bags is it's a lot easier to come out here and control the weeds. It really is. First of all, I don't have to bend down as far. Well, that's a plus. And it's easier to see them. I'm also so happy that I picked those tomatoes the other day. She was like, oh, here we go. She's going to be happy again. They're starting to ripen up about as fast as I can pick them. So, you know, can I, can I leave them on the vine for a little bit longer? I can, but we'll see what happens. Leave them too long. They start got bugs eating from within. And I don't mind losing one or two of them, you know, to the insects. They got to eat too. But that's why you don't want to leave them there too long. Because then that, that is what happens. And that's another reason to kind of pick the tomatoes a little bit earlier. Is so they don't get invited and ate. So we've got a lot of green tomatoes. Peppers are doing well, and my lettuce is about another week, and I'll start harvesting them there. So I'll let the water run for a little bit there, and then I'll give the other plants a quick, quick shot. I figure I got maybe two weeks, possibly three, before I'm going to have to dig my pepper plants back up and uh, bring them inside. If I had a greenhouse, I could actually do it with the tomato plant too. Because, you know, tomatoes will keep growing. They don't get chilled. If I was going to do it, it would be this plant. The thing of it is, is I don't know if I can cut it back and have it last year or not. But maybe I'll try it. Who knows? Could be successful. So, we were out of tomatoes for a day and I heard about it right away. Mama goes, how's it going to take a tomato to work and there weren't any to take? I said, well, they were in the garden. So I went and picked a bunch. And now I'll make sure I, I got enough of them for her. So, rest, good nutrition, proper exercise, 
and have fun. I enjoy being out here in the sun.